Good morning, guys. It is probably in the low 30, in the mid, uh, maybe in the high 30s here, uh, temperature-wise. Pretty brisk outside. Um, we're up here on Mount Akea, January 2nd, 2012, start of the new year. Uh, we're gonna do something a little different here than uh, than most folks, while everybody's probably sleeping in and uh, getting off that holiday food. We're gonna come and burn some calories up on the mountain. Um, combine the two things I love most, family and hunting. I got my father with me today. We're gonna uh, head in and do a sheep hunt today. Um, gonna walk in at about 10,000 feet. Got about, maybe about a mile and a half walk in to the spot. Uh, it's about four in the morning now. So we got uh, a little bit of, little bit of hiking to do today. Hopefully uh, burn off all that food we ate over the holidays. But uh, should be a good start to a new year. Hopefully it'll turn out and uh, catch you guys later. Just uh, spotted a group of sheep headed up toward the moon, but uh, it's about 6:30. They were probably at around, probably nearing 11,000 feet up there. But we can't see if there's any good ones from here. We gotta get a bit closer. But, uh, see if we can check it out. for the mode man to take a break there but since these 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 sheep though they'll go up and over the mountain so uh, once they go go way too high there's no way our human abilities will be able to keep up with them so I'm gonna go there early ahead of my father so many cracks and stuff you know the, just you can't see the whole herd sometimes so get there spock the whole herd check it out and uh see if there's a good one that he'd want to take but man this is <laughs> this is some high altitude sheep hunting people don't think hawaii you'd have this but we got we got some pretty cool hunting up here stay tuned folks If you could see them back there, but we're about uh, 800 yards, almost on the skyline up there. 
uh, almost uh, with a human <laughs> can't get them. But uh, looks like we're a little, a little too late to catch them on the lower elevation, so they've walked out. Uh, they're kind of trained from hunting. They're used to uh, hunters coming in early, and then what they do is they'll go all the way up in that super high stuff where there's no vegetation and uh, they can see for for hundreds and hundreds of yards and that's their safety up there there's really not a whole lot for them to eat but it's more for their safety because they can see far they're just used to all the all the high pressure and all the hunting that we've got here so it's a tough one they're probably shoot they're probably over 11,000 feet where they're at now but, uh, Oh. We've used our bed there and we can try or we'll go in some more and look for another bunch. Just walked up on a ewe bedded with her with her little lamb. Kinda of going ahead to check out the area, see if there's anything and Save, uh, save dad's legs. So, gonna go forward and see what's out there. Uh, well, uh, it's a nice long hike, but uh, our sheep kind of went up and over the mountain. So, into the no man's land. No man's land. Unsuccessful today, but that's why they call it hunting. Yep. Even with a rifle, <laughs> it is still challenging. Uh, maybe not so much the stock, but the physical aspect of walking up here at, on the volcanic rocks and you know, 11,000, 10,000 feet, and being 50. What years old? 50. Oh, I'm 57, going on 58. Being 58 years old. <laughs> oh boy. I don't remember it being this tough when I was 25. <laughs> That's the Monica hunting for you. Not always going to get one. In fact, you're probably not going to get one most more times than not. But, uh, pretty tough hunting. It's a real hunt. If you guys like seeing this, uh, give it a shot sometime. You know, it's under eradication, so you, know, you have a limited amount of time, maybe. <laughs> but, uh, come on and do it. White hunting uh, at its toughest. All right, take care, guys. Bye.